So hi 4chan, hi B. it's been wonderful getting to know you guys over the past 24 hours. This is Spooky McDoots here in person and I've got some things that I'd like to say to you in response to the wonderful show of affection you've been giving me lately and for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about I'll explain to you in a minute but the people I'm addressing right now, they suffer from some low IQ issues, they suffer probably from some attention span issues so right now I need to cater to their special needs and keep everything very small and very simple so that their little brains can absorb it. So basically 4chan B, because of the fact that you left the phrase spooky McDoots all over my videos, which hey it's a pretty cool title, I'm happy to take it, I'm not offended, but um, that is a very distinctive search phrase so it was very easy to google up your threads, find out where you were coming from, see all the stuff you were talking about while you were rounding up your little peasant army to come and storm YouTube in a vast expression of key keyboard warrior pointlessness. So it all stemmed from the fact that YouTube had the gall to put up a little gay pride heart next to their logo and honestly I didn't even notice. Like member of the queer community I didn't even notice that shit but apparently to you guys it was like an enormous affront. So you've all been trying to slosh out gay pride videos with masses of dislikes. Come on people show them all the hate. Give them so many dislikes and Oh my god honey, you don't realise what you're doing here, you really really don't. This is backfiring in your face so hard. And there are actually people, I'm reading your threads right now, and there are people even on your own 4chan boards who realise how hard this is backfiring. But in the simplest terms, to, to lay it out to you with your, with your little, little tiny brains, um, Every dislike you give a video from a gay person or about gay pride, every dislike you hit on that video, you're also giving them a view. And you know how YouTubers make money? We make money with views. So for that reason, I've disabled comments on this video. So if you want to go and spout homophobic hate at me, you're going to have to click on one of my other videos. Give me another view. Give me some more money. So every dislike you give to the gay community and to me and to all the rest of us, Every time you do that, you're giving us a little bit of money. A little bit of money to spend on our gay agenda, spend on things like dildos and butt plugs. And um, as for me personally, because I seem to be doing quite well out of you guys and your homophobic hate, I, when I get my next YouTube check next month, I'm gonna donate some of, I'm gonna donate, donate as much as I can afford to an LB QT bullying charity, like a queer bullying charity. So yeah, keep it up, keep it up, keep on clicking and hating and hating away because every time you hate at me, you're giving money to gay people, you're giving money to bullied gay teens, you're giving money to the very cause you're trying to destroy. Um, because yeah, I will admit that although mostly I find your antics on my channel kind of amusing that Largely I've been told that I'm a cancer skeleton and, uh, and that I'm spooky, which, which doesn't really offend me. I, I'm proud to be a skinny person and I'm proud to be a bit spooky. Do you, do you think this shit happens by accident? So you've, you've just been complimenting me really. For the past 24 hours you've been flooding me out with money and compliments. So thank you, you're practically my boyfriend at this point and it's so cute. But um... Although, you know, that said, it has been stressful. It has been stressful. I did not sleep last night at all, which was kind of a new one for me. You know, I'm quite used to insomnia, but usually when people say, why didn't you sleep? It's like, oh, well, I just couldn't. But last night was like, why didn't you sleep? Oh, homophobia mostly. So that was interesting. That was stressful. And it kind of gave me a window into the kind of stuff that queer teenagers probably have to deal with on a daily basis at school. Um, the, you know, the internet was in its inception when I was at school, there wasn't a Facebook, there probably wasn't even a MySpace, so queer people, you couldn't be bullied in this 24-7 horrific manner in those days, whereas queer teenagers now, they have to take so much shit, and I'm quite thankful to you guys for showing me exactly how horrible that feels, so I want to do everything I can to help other people being put in that position by disgusting people like you. So yeah, every money, every, every money, I can't speak, every bit of money you're giving me, I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to donate it to these teenagers who are being bullied by people like you. So as I say, keep it up, keep up bullying all the gay people and for anyone else watching out there who is in the gay community and who's also been hit by this 
tsunami of imbeciles, please, I would advise you to do the same, even if you can only donate a little bit. Take a little bit of the YouTube money they're giving you, donate it to a queer bullying charity, because that is the biggest fuck you you can give these people. But to move on to the kind of amusing stuff, as I say, I've got your threads up here on 4chan right now, and even in the midst of your own threads, there are people who realise that what you're doing is dumb. Let me try and read you some quotes. So one person said, am I the only one with a life? I'm so busy giving, I'm so busy living my life that I don't give a fuck if fags have a parade and suck each other's dicks. They're happy doing that? Cool. I don't give a fuck. I'm busy doing my own shit. You're fucking sad if you have nothing better to do than judge others all day. That comes from one of your own 4chan members. That doesn't come from a weird little gay freak like me comes from one of your own people and it's so true like seriously you spent all night just just rounding each other up to go and hit dislike buttons and leave ridiculously dumb spammy comments everywhere like really you have the internet at your disposal you could be doing things you love and enriching your life in all sorts of ways you could be wanking off to the most brilliant porn out there you could be learning more about about homophobia you could be enjoying your passions rather than basically just giving money to the people you hate. What you're doing is backfiring in a, a lot of ways and it's just a sad waste of your life my friends. You need to find a productive hobby. The other thing is that a lot of you guys, I know you're Trump supporters and um, you've been quite vocal about the fact that you're Trump supporters which again it's backfiring because anyone who's out there, the US voting public, public obviously I'm not from America so I don't get a vote in that stuff but there's going to be a lot of US voters who are flip-flopping around who are kind of like hey Trump you know he he speaks his mind he's kind of funny he's kind of blunt and truthful and I respect that about him and maybe I'll give him a vote but now you guys you're showing these flip-floppers who you know could swing the election you're showing them the true face of what Trump and his supporters are about that you are anti-semitic that you are racist that you are homophobic that you are violent and aggressive that you build up masses of people to go and bully teenagers they're seeing this they're seeing what you're really about they're seeing the hideousness of your true face and it's going to turn them away from Trump you basically right now you are the advertising campaign for Hillary Clinton so it's backfiring you're giving the queer people money you are turning people against Trump you are just fucking up everything you stand for so I'm going to try and find you a four more quotes a four more a few more quotes from your own threads because they're kind of funny so there's another person here on your own thread who really really gets what's going on and realizes that you're getting your panties in a bunch about nothing they've pointed out this is a commercial for youtube nothing more if you were interpreting it as something else you need to re-examine how you look at things nothing offended me about this video people can be who they want to be youtube can exploit social movements for profit if it wants to nothing is out of place a company is just pandering to a huge segment of its user base yeah youtube the thing is, the video you're hating all over, it doesn't even belong to me, it doesn't belong to any of us who were featured in the video, it belongs to YouTube. It's only YouTube, a huge soulless corporate body that you're spamming out with these homophobic comments. We don't care, we're barely reading them, honestly. Um, somebody else, on your own 4chan thread, they quite like me, they said, I watched one vid, I think she's kind of nice, and back when I was an edgy teen, like 10 to 15 years ago, I was always crushing on those pale, bright, black-haired girls. Don't be mean to her. So that's kind of sweet. So thank you, whoever you were, anonymous. So that's kind of cool. And, um... And then some people are calling YouTube Jewtube, and, um... Well, fag gender, that's another nice word there. So yeah, you're really showing yourselves to be a shining example of Trump voters. Trump, he's going to be getting a lot of votes out of this. I'm really not sure. And somebody else on your 4chan thread says, I don't give a fuck about people dressing and fucking who they want. I do give a fuck about hatred, murder and assault. Is that too difficult for you to understand? I am so glad that there are some people, even on 4chan, who are willing to stand up to you idiots and just point out how dumb you're being. Um, there's quite a lot of them. It's a big ass thread. I'm not reading all of it, but there's, there's enough examples of good humanity in these threads that it makes me happy. Even in 4chan, 
they're a good people and hopefully they can persuade you guys that you're being dumb and it's backfiring in so many ways and oh cute i've seen a lot of people on the thread saying there are only two genders, male and female. Then somebody else with a little bit more wit came along and said, hey, there are three genders actually, male, female, and mentally ill. And um, somebody has come along and said, so we have three genders, male, female, and um, Skeletor? Hey, that's me, I'm the third gender, hey! But um, in terms of this gender stuff, you do realize that in the last week, the first person in America was registered as officially non-binary so as far as america goes this is the precedent it's been set non-binary is going to become a gender you already have one person in your country who's qualified for it and it's going to throw the doors wide open so give it another 10 years non-binary genders are going to be accepted they already are in australia i'm very sorry that you feel this way but honestly i don't know why it bugs you so much why do you care so much what somebody wants written on their passport that they they want to say male, female, non-binary, does it matter? If you don't want to go and suck their dick, suck their vag, whatever they've got, if you don't want to go and fuck that person, what does it matter what is between their legs and how they see themselves? It it's really, really doesn't matter. I don't know why you're getting in such a tiz about it, but as I say, you are bankrolling all of us. You're giving us loads of money, and I'm going to give some of that money to bullied teenagers, so keep it up. So I'm getting pretty bored of scrolling through 4chan now, there are just endless replies to this thread, but I'm not scrolling anymore, I can feel my IQ withering away with every post I read, and to be honest the people I'm talking to from 4chan and B have probably drifted away from this video by this point anyway, since I've been talking for quite a while, so I guess it's time to explain to the rest of you guys what all this is about, um, and to explain to the people who actually matter to my channel what all this is about. So basically I... The timeline of what actually happened here is kind of completely different to the timeline of how I found out it was happening. That um, last night it was about half past two in the morning, I was about to go to bed but I just really quickly checked my YouTube comments thinking hey I'll reply to a couple of comments and then I'll go to bed. Turned out that my comments are like flooded out with this weird ass shit and, um, and it, I was like where is this coming from, what the hell? And it took me a while to track it back to 4chan and B and I was like why am I suddenly the target of all of this crap? So that was that was kind of bizarre and as I said I didn't get any sleep because I was like oh, what the fuck is this? Where the fuck is this coming from? Like it wasn't particularly offensive, the main thing they were spamming all over my channel was Spooky McDook and there are only two genders and um, despite the fact they were actually posting on a video that had nothing about gender in it um, so I knew they were coming from somewhere um, and it wasn't until about five o'clock this morning when as I say I still wasn't asleep and somebody like left me a comment on Instagram saying do you know you're featured in this video so I went to the video and it turned out to be YouTube's proud to be hashtag video um, I will no I'm not going to link it below because the comments are horrific so I'm not going to link it below but anyway I've been featured in this video nobody ever asked me, YouTube did not come to me for consent to put me in that video which I suspect is the case with everyone featured in that video we were just cherry picked and stuck in the video we weren't asked about it and I suspect that many of us are just like me now being assaulted by homophobic crap and probably it's worse for the other people because if their channels largely are about queer issues then they probably are getting a lot worse abuse than I am that people saw me and they're like oh but good not only are you fucking this disgusting queer but you also look like a weird freaky goth skeleton so we're gonna make you into a meme and we're gonna flood out your comments with ridiculous crap which is not desperately offensive whereas to a lot of the kids featured in that video who looked a lot younger than me and are probably more susceptible to this shit they are probably being flooded out with homophobic bullying too and again we didn't consent to be put in that video so when I first saw that I wasn't desperately chuffed but eventually I thought about it and I was like look if YouTube had have come to me and said do you want to be featured in this video I probably would have said yeah like obviously I would have said yeah because yes I am proud to be who I am and if you're going to make a video about that and you're going to put me with a load of other awesome people then feel free go ahead so although it bugs me I wasn't asked for my consent yeah if I had been asked for my consent I probably would have said yes anyway because I wasn't expecting the people at 4chan to get so massively butthurt about YouTube making one gay pride video, like seriously. So that was the point at which these people have flooded out the comments, and um, the comments section on this video is kind of disgusting. 
Um, there are people saying things like, looks like we need Hitler back to finish his job. Someone replies, Donald Trump for president. So again, Donald Trump fans, you really are, you're killing Trump's voter pool. You really are because you're making him sound like Hitler. He, you know, he's, I think he's trying very hard not to be perceived as Hitler. And you're making it obvious that the people who do support Donald Trump, they are anti-Semitic, they are racist, they are homophobic, they are xenophobic, they are fucking crazy awful people. And um, you're just reminding everyone of that, so keep it up because you are tarring Trump even more than he's tarred himself, which is saying something. Although actually it looks like the comment section is getting better now. I checked it earlier on and it was full of 4chan imbeciles just like everywhere. There was someone saying that the really bright skeleton needs to be executed and I was like, hey, is that a compliment? Are they saying really bright because I'm pale and on a grainy webcam? Or are they saying really bright because I'm super clever? Did they just call me super clever and that I need to be executed because I'm super clever? So these people, they're just, oh, their brain cells, they just shine out of them, their personality, their IQ, it shines out of their every orifice. But um, it turns out that the comment section is now getting way better. The comment section, people have come to defend all of it and um, and start talking sense. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Full chant are not totally snowing over. Oh yeah, there's someone else saying, this is why we have ISIS. Someone else commented, all these people in this video are going to be ISIS targets now. It's like, really? You think ISIS gives a shit about queer little teenagers on YouTube, it's it's like conspiracy theorists when it comes to anonymous. Anything happens in the world, and they're like, anonymous are gonna beat these people's asses. ISIS, they don't fight for you, and I really don't think they give a shit about a few queer teenagers on YouTube. I really, really don't. Plus the fact I'm not really in an ISIS country right now, but that's the kind of thing these people are saying. That you know, for being queer teenagers, we deserve to be executed by ISIS. So that's really, really lovely. But as I say, um, all of these dislikes that are flooding out all of our channels, it's giving us money. It's giving money to queer people and YouTube. If YouTube is listening, I really hope, like, I am not going to see a cent from this video that I was featured in without my consent. Um, how many views does it have right now? Wow, it has six and a half million views. That's a lot of views. None of us who are featured in it are going to see a dime from that, I dare say. So, YouTube, um, given you took our faces and our videos without our consent and have now ditched a load of homophobic bullying on us, because of this video, I really, really plead, can you use some of the revenue from that video and do some good with it? Can you donate it to an LGBT charity or a gay bullying charity or something like that? Six and a half million views, that's, that's a fair amount of revenue. So if you could do something good with that, I would appreciate it. Given, as I say, you've used all our likenesses without consent and you've inflicted a lot of homophobic crap on us because of it. So yeah, obviously there's the exposure. Oh, it gives you exposure. It gives your channel exposure. And yes, as I say, I probably would have given consent for it because I wouldn't have known that this was coming. But six and a half million views, that's a fuck of a lot. So please, YouTube, use some of the revenue for good to fight against this storm of idiots. Please turn this situation around that, yes, we've been stormed out by 4chan imbeciles being really, really revolting and they're shooting themselves in the foot in so many ways, but it would please me so much if you could give them the ultimate slap in the face by donating every cent of that hate revenue to an LGBT charity. And that's pretty much all I want to say in this video, really. Um, for, for people who watch my videos most of the time, um, I did want to warn you about this shit going on. Like, I did make a post on Facebook saying this shit is going on, so please be careful about what you post in the comment sections of my videos for a while because there's a lot of trolls about and I don't want you guys getting caught in the crossfire because this already happened about a week ago with the conspiracy theorists on the homophobia video I made following the Orlando shootings that I... Wow, yeah, I had a big rant about that but after everything that's happened in the last 24 hours I felt like how many rants can I have about trolls right now? So I'm probably not going to post that rant, but it really, the main thing that upset me about that, I didn't really give a shit about conspiracy theorists saying mad things all over my videos, 
but the fact that they took it to other people on my channel that there were grieving people on my channel and they were being directly attacked by conspiracy theorists who were telling them that their grief wasn't legitimate that they were bullshit artists trying to be linked to the facebook profiles of these people's dead friends so that they could abuse all the relatives and wow like that that was awful. That all happened while I was asleep and I felt so horrible when I got up that I hadn't been there to police my channel and to... You know, because it happened like in my fucking house, on my fucking channel. People, it should have been a safe space for queer people and they were being abused in my fucking house and that really bothered me that, yeah, you guys were getting caught in the crossfire and that was really not cool. So that was the main thing I wanted to say with this video was... was I was gonna say, you know, just don't don't post anything on my comment sections right now that you're sensitive about because you're likely to get trolled and I don't want anyone getting hurt by this. But as of right now, um, I guess let me just check my comments real quick and see if there's more spam going on. Okay, it looks like the reign of dickheads is pretty much over. I was thinking earlier today that, as I said, I didn't sleep, so I've been up like since crazy time this morning and I was thinking maybe they're just asleep maybe they're just asleep but it does look like my comments my comments page it's pretty much gone back to normal there's only the occasional little prat who's totally following yesterday's news right now so I think we're safe I think it's probably over although who knows this video may completely reignite the whole thing so yeah if if you want to comment anywhere um just just have a little read through the comments make sure it's not spammed out with trolls before you say anything sensitive because i don't want any of you guys being bullied by this shit because it's really not fun um but yeah hopefully it's over as i say i'm disabling comments on this particular video just just to be just to be a pedantic little prick really that yeah if if these people want to say homophobic stuff to me they're gonna have to click on another video and they're gonna have to give me more money to give to queer teenagers that's the whole reason i disabled comments plus the fact that these people they just spew nonsense so if i'm gonna have to read their spewing nonsense they're gonna bankroll me even more if they want to do it so that's why i disabled comments but um yeah feel free to comment on this video on another video i will know what you're talking about um and that's probably all i wanted to say but yeah the last couple of days have been kind of stressful but it does seem to be slowing down now and as i say these people they are making trump supporters look terrible they are basically campaigning for hillary clinton right now because they are showing their true ugly face and they are really really putting people off trump and showing just how hideous and how scary and how awful his supporters are so that's a good thing then there's the fact that yeah every dislike they give these videos is a bit of money in the pocket of a queer person and as i say i'm gonna donate as much as i can afford to to a bullying charity when i get this money because i feel like some good should come out of this shit and again youtube six and a half million views you didn't ask for any of our consent you didn't make any of that content yourself you just kind of stole our videos and now you've got six and a half million views on it so if you could please please take some of that money and give it to a good cause because i i honestly don't know whether youtube has been actually doing any action with this stuff that yes they've had apparently had the the gay pride heart as a logo they've been making videos on proud to be gay and all that stuff which is great but now that it's been snowed out by haters and it's turned into a kind of horrible homophobic thing I think we need to see action rather than videos from YouTube right now. YouTube, six and a half million views. That's a fair bit of revenue. Can you please go do something good with it? Please. And um, those are probably all the things I wanted to say. But yeah, hopefully this rain, is dipshits of, this rain of dipshits is over now. And yes, if you see people calling me spooky McDoodle all over the place, that's because I've been made into a meme, which I guess means I'm proper internet famous now. Yeah. And um, hey, I'm really not that offended. As I say, I'm quite happy to be told that I'm too skinny. I take that as a compliment. I'm quite happy to be told that I'm spooky and weird. I take that as a compliment. So it's just a big flood of compliments and money, really. It could be worse. But um, anyway, I hope, I hope the rest of you guys aren't dealing with this shit. I hope that 4chan has not found its way to your pages and your channels. And yeah, stay safe. Try to ignore the haters. Try to look on the upside. Just realize how much of a tit they're making of themselves how sad their lives must be if they genuinely have this amount of time and energy to waste on hate they have sad empty little lives 
and it's a bit pathetic but yeah it's hard to rise above it or it's it's easy to rise above it but it's hard to put it out of your mind and get some sleep but um yeah stay safe try to ignore these fucking imbeciles they'll go away in the end they'll find something else to hate about because they hate so much stuff as i say they're xenophobic they're anti-semitic they're racist they're homophobic they hate just about everyone else in the world so pretty quickly they're gonna find someone else to hate and I'm sorry for the next person who they hate on, but they will leave eventually, so that's all I wanted to say, and I'm going to shut up now. Bye-bye. Oh, I hopefully am probably going to upload a, vo a vlog. Vlo I can't speak. It's really, really hot in this room. <laughs> I'm going to upload a vlog probably around about the same time as this video, if not slightly before, because I don't just want to give you this big negative thing. I want to give you a vlog as well, although I am obviously aware of the fact that a lot of you know, four channels are gonna go probably back to that vlog and bombard it with dislikes and with stupid comments, but whatever, I've already taken one day of that, I can take another day of it, whatever, so yeah, stay safe people, and I'm going away now, bye-bye!